I swear, guys, this is this is just getting fucking out of hand, guys. But anyway, holy holy crap, guys! Welcome back to the video. This is CyberTube back to again, y'all, with another amazing video for you guys to enjoy on the channel. Now, if you guys want to go see another video, pretty much talking about the same thing as about to talk about in this video, please go look at the Codfather's fucking video. He has a great fucking point that is pretty much be restated in this video. The, uh, it, Go click on this video, guys. Go subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You know, go leave a thumbs up. Whatever you guys comment on this video, whatever. Go watch the Blame Truth, Blame Truth video. The Codfather himself. He's a fucking amazing Call of Duty YouTuber who I believe deserves a lot more respect than what he gets for. But anyway, hopefully you guys can today can enjoy today's video. But anyway, this Operation Monarch event was fucking dog water. It was a fucking embarrassment to the fucking Call of Duty franchise. I mean, so many fucking people, you know, it's fucking depressed with this fucking game right but here's the thing this all right look let's look about it this way warzone actually got fucking something to do something to do for like two matches at least they got fucking something at least something i mean the thing that they get they, they, they did get was fucking piss poor fucking dog water dog shit it was straight garbage but then let's look at vanguard over here got fucking nothing nothing in sight not even a peep not even a word not even like a little like rumor not even its own challenges i mean look at all the events in fucking cold war they had their own challenges alongside the events they had in warzone like this shit like this shit was even a fucking disaster by even cold wars standards that they set with cold war right I mean, it's almost been, a, it's not even been a year yet since the last fucking Cold War event. The Halloween event they had in Cold War was probably one of the best events we've had in Call of Duty since fucking Modern Warfare 2019's bullshit has been out. And I'm going to be straight honest with you. Since Modern Warfare 2019 had them fucking bullshit season shits, we have had nothing but fucking dog water every season. Cold War was the only one that actually had an event that fucking made sense and made the event fucking fun. I mean, look at the event, right? There was challenges, new game modes, everything, right? Look, look let's look at it. Let's look at it as, as a perspective, right? Let's look at this like this. For one, you had to do challenges in the game while playing the in-game new game mode, aka Scream Deathmatch, where you got to play as fucking Scream, right? You didn't have to go buy the fucking bundle. You didn't have to go spend money on it. You could play as Scream, get a cool-looking Scream mask, HUD, and everything. It's fucking amazing. You play the fucking game. Guess what you got? You got the new Lupa SMG to use in multiplayer this is how gaming should fucking be there should be stuff to fucking unlock i mean call of duty is so piss fucking boring there's nothing to do look let's look at it like this if i want to fucking get a fucking gif on my fucking gun let me go to fucking twitter onto my fucking profile picture i pull up a fucking HTML website of a fucking gif on a fucking ak-47 okay it's fucking boring don't give me that bullshit it's the same fucking challenges the same fucking camos year after year after year after it's not like a reward when gold camo was first fucking found in black ops 1 where it's like hey that's something fucking new it's the same fucking camos since fucking black ops 2 the only thing that changed when they added Dark Matter to fucking Black Ops 3 was because it was the newest fucking camo. Now every game has a version of it with the same exact challenges, with the same exact bullshit year after year after year. There's no innovation in this fucking game. And they keep people keep wanting to say, this is fucking fun. No, it's fucking not. It's the same thing that you did fucking the year last year, the same thing you did the year before that, the same year you did before that, it's fucking bullshit, right? Let's look at it like this. If they want to fucking add, you know, fucking Godzilla and Kong, make them fucking kill streaks. Make them fucking do something, right? Let's say, for fucking example, let's, let's, let's pull this, right? If you get fucking Godzilla Kong, right, have a cool cinematic cutscene where it destroys the rest of the t enemy team, right? Like fucking, I don't know, you get to choose you know, Godzilla gets to spray his breath everywhere. Then you see Kong, you know, jump in the map and just start smashing all the enemy team, right? That could have been fucking cool. Would it, even if it ended the game at that point, right? Even if it ended the game. Even if it was the new kill streak that you could choose which one you wanted to see in a cinematic scene, that would have been fucking awesome, right? It would have made fucking sense, right? But no, all they want to do is use these to sell your fucking bullshit skins. I mean, look at the the, the Godzilla and Kong skins look like fucking ass. They look like fucking furries got kicked out of a fucking furry, furry convention because they went to touch a fucking service dog inappropriate or some shit. Like, these look fucking stupid as... They look like fucking rejects. 
They don't even look like good. These are like cosplayers that nobody looks because they look like fucking shit. I mean, and, and even then, they had the fucking, you know, cringy event where my fucking uncle still smokes weed fucking Snoop Dogg fucking character. I mean, come on. It's fucking normal at this point. Fucking grow up. Grow up. This is like a, the most fucking cringiest. This is like 10 years ago. If this came out 10 years ago, it would have been fun, right? Because that's when, you know, this whole society didn't change yet, right? It would have been fucking cringy as fuck and it would have been funny. But no, it, it's 10 years in the future now, okay? Everybody fucking does that shit anymore. It's not even a fucking... It's not even, it's just cringe at this point, okay? Get get with the times, Call of Duty. Come on, get with the times, Grandpa. This is fucking bullshit, right? I mean, if they even had that and they wanted to add the skins in fucking Call of Duty, fuck it, fuck it. You know, have these fucking virgin-year-olds, fucking 20-year-old fucking virgins go hell and buy these fucking virgin dildo packs, fucking Bella Daphne tracer packs, fine. That's fucking fine, all right? If they want to be fucking pedophiles, you can go be pedophiles, right? Whatever, I don't give a fuck, right? But if you're gonna have these bullshit events in Call of Duty, at least make them fucking fun, right? Like, let's think about it like here. Like, maybe, maybe you could have had like Godzilla and Kong in like in the Strike Zone in Call of Duty Ghosts, where if you got the new Strike Zone to change the map, like they could have done that. You know, like if you got Godzilla to come in, boom, he just destroys half the map in a cinematic cutscene and just changes the whole map, and then you have him roaming around, changing the environment. You know, right? That would've been fucking awesome. But you know what that takes? fucking talent and fucking skill which obviously fucking sedgehammer my fucking balls doesn't fucking have these guys have the, the, the most incompetent fucking developers i've ever seen no passion whatsoever like these guys need to be fucking never make a call of duty game ever again don't even fucking try it all right because you're just gonna be fucking laughed at down the street from a mile away and it's fucking hilarious at this point at this point it's like in every update i just want to see what they fucking ruin at this point all right it's fucking bullshit all right now let's see if they want to do another halloween event fucking add freddy krueger fucking jason right that'll be fucking cool now make him like kill streaks you know, like with the krampus event the fucking krampus event was cool it overstayed his welcome though like four weeks after fucking christmas it was fucking ridiculous but it was stupid. He would just randomly pop up and kill people, right? It, it was pointless. What they could, what they should have done is he should have had him as a kill streak, right? Make him like a 10 kill streak, right? So they can counteract the dogs, right? Oh, you get this kill streak, right? It's a fucking reward in the game. What happened to this in Call of Duty? They have fucked up everything from unlocking challenges to unlocking fucking prestige mode is fucking boring now. Like, there's no excitement when you prestige, right? When you get the prestige, like, holy shit, I'm prestige three. Fuck yeah! Now it's like, oh. I'm level 100. Cool, I get a prestige token or whatever the fuck. Uh, cool. Yay, hip, 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 hooray. There's no enjoyment. You don't feel like you earned anything besides, I get a tear skip. Cool. That's nice. Okay, what's next? That's it. That's literally, that's literally all it is. It's just a fucking tear skip. It, it's fucking pointless. It's fucking boring. There's nothing. It's fucking dog shit, right? They could have had him as a kill streak, right? He comes in and just starts annihilating people, right? If they want to do another Halloween event, fucking, like I said, add Jason, add Freddy Krueger, right? They could have made him kill streaks, right? Like, we're, like in Call of Duty Ghosts, you could literally play as Jason, as fucking Michael Myers. Have that again. If I can, you can, like, run around with his axe and start just murdering people, right? Fucking awesome. Make a special themed map. Maybe you're playing in a fucking swad, you know, a camp area, right? And, like, eventually Jason comes out of the water or something and starts chasing all the players, and that would be cool. Or maybe, like, when you unlock the fucking character, you get to come out the water and, you know, just start hacking people. Or, you know, have the fog roll in or whatever. You know, maybe it starts as a day map and as it, or evening map. As it goes to night, you get to see, you know, him running around in the bushes or something, right? It would have been fucking cool. It would have been fucking awesome, right? And have this special, like, game mode where, like, as it goes to evening, a player randomly be selected to play as fucking... Jason and he roams the map, right? Just stabbing people. And that was a new game mode. Been like affected, right? Or maybe maybe they had Freddy Krueger, right? And a map and he, you know, gets to change, you know, and maybe you, as you're playing the map, it goes to a dream and you get to port it into like a dreamland escape, right? That would have been fucking awesome. But how how are me, a fucking single person, able to come up with these ideas within fucking five minutes of the fucking event? You know, how is it's fucking insane, right? When fu a thousand fucking developers can't make make fucking shit out the ass right and maybe you know if they wanted to add him in as fucking skins that's fine you know the virgin losers will buy him no hell even i'll be a fucking virgin loser for fucking a day okay i'll fucking buy the skins if they look cool right i i, I don't give a shit i'll be honest with you 
I'll be fucking honest with you. If I'm gonna be fucking virgin loose for a day, I'm gonna buy the skins, right? But there's there's no transparency with Call of Duty anymore. I mean, like, look at the fucking player retention. It must be through the fucking floor at this point. But look at Battlefield for, uh, Battlefield 2042, right? Give them all the shit you want. They deserve that shit, right? EA deserves that shit. But look how transparent they are with the updates. What they did wrong. The player count of the fucking game. There is no shame in them to showing that. There's no. They're not ashamed to show that. Hey, we fucked up. Activision, they're like, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna stay silent about this. I'm gonna go uh, chill in the corner, guys. Hold my beer. That's it. There's. You can't tell from fucking up and down where the fucking player retention is. Like, I'm pretty sure if Activision was to show their true player count, it'd be fucking shit. But they don't want to show you that shit, because they, they're fucking ashamed of it. They have no fucking anything. Nothing. No balls anymore. Nothing. Right? I mean, it's just, it's in fucking insane. It's just, like, we need to, first of all, lower the amount of devs, I think, personally. Because a thousand devs is way too many fucking chiefs. There's no fucking direction, right? There's fucking nothing, but if you guys don't know, fucking Modern Warfare 2, No More Rumor 2, 2022, is gonna have 3,000 people behind the game. This is fucking insane. We don't need 3,000 people to fucking make a Call of Duty game. Nothing has changed since Call of Duty 4 when, like, 100 people fucking made the game. Nothing has changed besides graphics and the engine. That's fucking it. You could have a 100 people develop the engine, 100 other people fucking develop graphics. It's all, you only need two to 300 people. You don't need 3,000 motherfuckers to make a fucking Call of Duty game. Nothing drastically has changed in like the past 10 years. Nothing. Nothing has fucking changed. It's not like there's this new fucking completely whole other... It's not like they went from Call of Duty all the way to fucking Battlefield in a fucking day. No, that didn't fucking happen. It's still fucking Call of Duty. And it's bullshit now. But you know what? I, I don't fucking know anymore, guys. I can't tell you what these fucking developers are going to do anymore. All I know is that every fucking event is just a fucking scan to get fucking the most dumbest fucking people to buy skins at this point. And if you fucking think that buying these fucking furry reject skins is fucking fun, you need to go back... 10 years and see how fucking games back in the day used to be where you actually fucking earn something for playing the damn fucking game but you know what i dig i digress guys i don't know anymore what i'm talking about anymore because apparently nobody fucking does who plays call of duty at this point anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video please leave a like rating down below maybe you know maybe um subscribe to the channel if you're fucking new and also guys if you guys want to spend your actual money on worth it shit go down in the description look at rep sports raise energy guys Fucking look at them guys so you can make a better you go hit the fucking gym cure your fucking depression Whatever the fuck go to the fucking gym better yourself and just be happier, right? And don't spend your money on this fucking worthless ass skins Anyway guys, I will see you guys when I see you guys peace out